Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how you can set up SEO for your WordPress website using Yoast. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, let's take a look at our site. You can see that this is a blogging photography site for food, especially. We can see some of these texts are dummy, while some of the other texts, such as these titles, do make sense. In case you're wondering what theme this is, we are using Cadence, and this is actually a starter site that we have imported. This is actually going to help us get started with Yoast, and you can also learn about Yoast, how you can use Yoast to increase your SEO score and your search visibility. So let's go ahead and install Yoast. So we're going to go back to the dashboard, go to plugins, click on add plugin, and we're going to search for Yoast over here. It's searching, and here it is. You can see that Yoast has a staggering 10 million active installations, and it's also compatible with our current version of WordPress, and it's also updated very, very frequently. So we're going to click on the Install Now button and wait for the plugin to install, and it's installed. Now let's click on the Activate button, and as soon as the plugin activates, it's going to take us to a welcome screen. All right, so our plugin has been installed and activated. Now you are given an option to click on this Start Configuration button. So what this is going to do is it's going to take you to a setup process where you just add basic information about your website and you can get started with Yoast. And again, it's also giving you the chance to explore the premium features. So we are using the free version of Yoast. The premium version of Yoast unlocks more powerful SEO tools and features for your site, which you can use to improve your SEO score further. But we're going to go ahead and start with the free version. So we're going to click on this button. And here is the setup process. So we are going to close this notification over here. And if you take a look at the dashboard, here is Yoast. In the general tab, you can take a look at the first time configuration tab. These are the steps that you must go through in order to set up Yoast SEO for your website. So the first thing is the SEO data optimization. What this does is this will scan your website and this will create a database with optimized SEO data. All right. And it won't change any content on your settings so you can rest easy. You can just click on the start SEO data optimization button and it will take care of the rest. Of course, if you have a lot of content on your website, this is going to take a lot of time. But if you have a smaller website, it's going to take less time. So we're going to click on this button and see the magic happen. And that's it. It says we've successfully analyzed your site and optimized your SEO data. So that's completed. So you don't have to do anything, just you have to press a button. Now we can click on the continue button. It's going to take us to the site representation tab. Here you can tell Yoast about your business. So are you an organization or a person? So if you're an organization, you can click on this. If you're a person, you can click on this. Now based on your decision, you will have different options. Okay, so from here, I am going to select person. Here it also says we took the liberty of using your website name and logo for the organization name and the logo feel free to change them below so here you can see there's the website name and the personal logo or avatar what Yoast did is that it read my website name and added the name over here and it also took a look at the logo and added it over here so that's really really smart of Yoast but you can also change these if you want if you want to change the website name you can edit it if you want to change the logo you can simply click on it and you can go to the media library and choose the image that you want or you can go to the upload files, click on select files and upload the file from your computer. All right. So with that taken care of, we also have to do another thing. Here is the name of a user. So you have to select a user. So since we have chosen person, we have to also choose the user. Now this will be very useful for the next step, which is the social profiles. Okay. So we're going to choose admin. Now, after you select it, you can see there's a message over here. You have selected the user admin as the person this site represents. This user profile information will now be used in search results. Okay. So this is very important. You have to choose the correct user from here. Now, after that, we are going to click on save and continue button, and this will take us to the social profiles. Now it's going to say that you have selected the user admin as the person this site represents, you can update or add social profiles to this user's profile. For now, we are not going to do anything about it. We're just simply going to click on save and continue. 
and this will bring us to the personal preferences. Here it's going to give you the option to subscribe to Yoast newsletter so you get Yoast SEO tips and tricks. So if you want, you can add in your email address and click on yes, give me your free tips. With it, you will be able to receive latest SEO news and best practices. And again, if you want to share your non-sensitive data with Yoast and improve your site, you can select yes and click on save and continue. But since this is a test website, we're not going to add our email address or share our data. So we're going to click on save and continue button. And finally, it's going to take us to the final step. Now we are going to click on go to your SEO dashboard. And here it is. So now we can close this up and we can see how our site's doing over here. So this is your dashboard here. You can view your SEO scores, readability scores. Everything is over here. You can choose your content type from here. You can choose your categories. Everything is very clear. Now already your site is optimized, but if you are an advanced user and want to tweak some more settings, what you can do is click on Yoast settings over here. Now, here are a lot of options in the general tab, content types, category tags, and even in the advanced. Now, the first thing that we see is the site features. So these are all the features that are enabled on your site. Now, we won't be going through all of them because you can simply read about a feature and you can understand what this does. For example, the AI tools. There are two features here, Yoast AI and LLMS.txt. So the Yoast AI, what it does is helps you create better content by providing optimization suggestions that you can apply as you wish. So that's pretty clear what it does and it's enabled. And the LLMS.txt, what it does is it generates a file that points to your website's most relevant content designed to help AI assistants understand your website better. So if you want this feature enabled, you can simply click on it and it will be enabled. You can also customize the LLMS.txt file by clicking over here. Now, if we scroll down, you can see that Yoast has divided all the features into categories for writing, for site structures, for social sharing, tools, and also APIs. Now, by default, most of these will be enabled. You can see that the inclusive language analysis, it's disabled. You can enable it if you want. But before you enable or disable any features, make sure to read about what this does and click on learn more if you want to learn more about these features. Now, we're going to continue to the next tab, but before that, we can discuss some of these premium features. For example, this internal linking suggestions. Now, if you have been writing in WordPress or you're a WordPress blogger, you know that adding internal links is so important. It increases your SEO score and also enhances user experience. Now, if you have a lot of articles or contents, it will be difficult for you to add internal links because you have to go through your website search, which is the relevant content. This particular feature actually finds out the relevant content of your site and gives you the internal linking suggestions so you don't need to worry about that. You can imagine how useful this feature is, but this is only available in the premium version. Now you can imagine how powerful Yoast Premium is. Before we proceed, we are also going to click on Save Changes button to save all our changes. All right, all everything's saved. Now let's go to the site basics and here you can add in basic information about your site. So the site info, this is the name of our website. If you want, you can also add an alternate website name. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to call it foodie photographer, or you can find out a relevant alternative name for your site and add it over here. And it also fetched the tagline from our setting section. So you can edit it if you want. And then there's the title separator. Now for title separators, there are various symbols that you can use. Currently this hyphen is used. You can use a longer hyphen. You can use this mark. You can use a colon, a full stop, a dot. You can use a lot of these. We will see how this looks like in the search results later on in the tutorial. It's actually better if you keep it as it is, but if you want, you can use other symbols such as the pipe, which looks very nice. You can use this as well. So the next option is the site image. And this is actually very important as this image is used as a fallback for post pages that don't have any images set. So the recommended size for this image is 1200 into 675 pixels. So we don't have any particular images prepared for this. So let's go ahead and choose one from the media library. So we have a couple of these photos and you can also see that these are not recommended sizes, but still we are going to use it as we don't have any images prepared for now. You can see that the image doesn't look that good because it's not the recommended size or resolution. So make sure to resize your image to 1200 into 675 pixels. 
All right, so we're going to scroll down and here in the side preferences, we can restrict advanced settings for authors and you can also enable usage tracking, which allows us to track some data about your site to improve the plugin. If you want, you can have this enabled. But again, since we're using a test site, we're not going to enable this. Then we're going to scroll down and in the site policies, of course, you can see there are so many important settings that you can configure, which is only available in the premium version. So another reason to get Yoast Premium. Okay, after you're done with this, you can simply click on Save Changes and then you can move on to site representation. So here you can add in your organization or personal. So this is what we went through the setup wizard. And if you skip the setup wizard, you have to go through these manually. So currently we don't have to do anything because the organization or person, this is already selected. The personal info, this is also given. So we're going to head over to the site connections. This is quite important step. Here you can add connections to your site. You can add Ahrefs code over here to connect your site with Ahrefs. You can connect with Baidu. You can connect with Bing. You can connect to Google, Pinterest, and also Yandex. These will actually help you with your website analytics and data. We are not going to connect all, but just let's connect to our Google Search Console. So we're going to click on Google Search Console over here. It's going to tell us to select a property. So we're going to click on this drop down and click on Add Property. And there are two options. We can either use domain or URL prefix. We're going to choose the URL prefix and add our site's URL. So this is our Taste WP site's URL. And of course, this is just for demonstration purpose. We're going to click on Continue and it's verifying our property. And what you can do is download this file and upload to your website to verify. But there's also other verification methods. The HTML tag is something that I like. So I'm going to expand it and copy this. And then let's go back to our site. And now let's add this code. And now let's click on Save Changes. And now let's go back to our Google Search Console. And now let's click on Verify. And as you can see, ownership is verified. We can click on Done. And that's all we need to do to connect your site with Google Search Console. In similar ways, you can connect your site to Bing, Pinterest, Yandex, and this will help you with your analytics a lot. But for now, we are only happy with our Google connection. Now we can move on to the content types. If we go to the home page, you can see that there's nothing much to do over here. You can determine how your home page should look in the search results and on social media. This is what people probably will see when they search for your brand name. You can determine the title and description for the homepage by editing the homepage itself. You can determine the title and description for the blog page by editing the blog page itself. Let's move on to the post content types. Here you can actually determine how your posts will appear. So in the SEO title, the title, page, separator and site title will be shown. You can customize this and make it a lot better. So for posts, what I usually like to do is add the title of the post, then add a separator and add the site title. You can also add other variables by clicking on insert variables and choosing it from here. Now, these are not all the variables. There are more variables. If you want to look for more Yoast SEO variables, what you can do is go to your browser and search for Yoast SEO variables. And here is the page. So if you cannot find this page, don't worry, we will add it in the description down below. If we scroll down, here are all the list of available variables. You can use variables like date, title, parent title, archive title, site title, tagline, excerpt. And you can see there are a lot of these options. Okay, so for example, if you want to add the current year, which many of you might want, you can copy this and add it over here. Now you can see the current year is over here. So we can remove the site title. So what we'll show is that this is the title of the post, a separator, then the current year. Now you can add a default meta description over here. Then we can scroll down and there's the social media appearance. With the free version, we won't have access to this area. But we can add a schema from here. By default, the web page default will be selected and the article will be selected. You can choose blog post from here if you want. You can choose other schema such as social media posting, news article, advertise content article, satirical article, scholarly article, tech article, whatever you're doing. So you can choose anything from here. But for our purpose, we're going to choose the blog post and the page type, we are going to choose the web page default. And for additional settings, this will be enabled. Make sure that this is enabled because it will enable the SEO controls and assessments for you, okay? So after this, we're going to click on Save Changes. And we're done with this. And now for the Pages section, you can see that these are quite similar. So for the SEO title, the title of the page will be shown, then the page, 
and the separator and finally the site title. So if you're fine with this, you can leave it as it is or you can insert variables. And if you want to add other Yoast SEO variables, you know where to get those and how you can customize this, okay? So we're not going to do anything else over here. From the schema markups, we're going to just simply choose the blog post and leave everything as it is. Great, we are done with all of our options. Now there are a lot more things to do, but we are not going to go through these advanced options. What we're simply going to do is see how you can increase your SEO score for your articles. So if we go to the post section, you can see that we have some posts over here and you can also see the Yoast is ranking these SEO score as red light and there's a green light. So currently these are not optimized. So let's go ahead and see how our post looks like. So if we click on edit and here it is. And as you can see that this has actually dummy text, lorem ipsum. We can replace it with real texts if we want. So let's go ahead and add some real text instead of these dummy ones. All right, so we added some real texts so we can better optimize this. So the first thing that we have to do for SEO is add a focus key phrase. Since the title is easy lunch salads, let's copy this lunch salads keyword and add it in our focus key phrases. As soon as you add it, you can see that the SEO score has improved. You can also get related key phrases by clicking on this button. And you can also see on the search appearance how this will look like, the name of the post and the year. Now, if you remember correctly, when we were optimizing our post section, this is what we added, the title of the post and the current year, which is 2025. So that is how this will look like. And here it's actually asking for a meta description because we haven't written a meta description. So we're going to fix that. Don't worry. Here is the meta description. You can generate meta description with AI. So let's add this line as our meta description and paste it over here. Now, as you can see that it's saying that we have a very long meta description because this is showing up orange. So let's reduce it a little bit and it's still a lot. Now remove these content. Let's remove this hyphen and let's remove this part as well. Okay, so now you can see that our meta description is a lot better. We can also see the change over here as well. So that is how you can increase the SEO score. Now you can see that some of these Features are only available in the premium version, such as you can add related key phrases, internal linking suggestions, these are not available. If we go to the corner store content and expand this, we can mark this content as the cornerstone content, and this will be considered the cornerstone post of our website. Now let's fold this up and move on to the readability. Here are some really good suggestions to improve your post. So here are the problems or issues with our post and here are the results. Everything is good. And if you want to highlight these, you can click over here and these will be highlighted and you can see your content over here. And for the passive voice, if we enable this, you can see all the passive voice on your content. Great. And if we take a look at the problem, you can see the transition words. Only 19.6% of the sentence contains transition words, which is not enough. You have to use more of them in order to increase this score. So if you click over here and you can see that these are the transition sentences. So if you increase these more, what will happen is your score will go up. Now we are not going to do anything about this right now. In the inclusive language, you can see that we haven't detected any potentially non-inclusive phrases. Great work. Since we enabled the inclusive language feature, this is working on our side and it's trying to detect if there's any non-inclusive phrases here. So everything is doing great. So we don't have the Yoast Premium. If we did, we also could have customized our social preview. So you can understand how important Yoast Premium can be. And here if we click on Yoast, we can access those same settings from this sidebar as well. And it has a good ranking now. If we get back to our WordPress dashboard, you can see that our SEO score is really good. Now if we view this, you can see the content is doing great. So that is how you can set up SEO for your WordPress website using Yoast. Now, of course, this was a very quick tutorial, but this will help you get started with Yoast and rank your WordPress website a lot better. That also brings us to the end of today's tutorial. We hope that it was helpful for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos such as this one. So thank you for watching. See you next time.